Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to use a command bar in Microsoft Teams. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Essentially, I'm talking about this box over here. All right, so by default, it says search. You know, it's a search box, right? Obviously, I think primarily you will use it uh, to search for different conversations, uh, different keywords uh, you have used in your conversations uh, within Microsoft Teams. So, for example, I am uh, looking you know, anywhere where I mentioned what budget, it obviously comes up with all the different conversations I had uh, within channels and private chat, uh, where I mentioned the word budget, all right? Uh, but I also want to, you know, to show you additional functionality of this particular search box. You can also uh, search for information or access information, I should say, through different commands. Uh, if you just type in forward slash, Essentially, this is what I'm talking about. You see, it comes up with a list of all the different commands that are available for you to use. So this is pretty much a complete list. Uh, just a few ones I wanted to mention uh, in this particular video. So if you type in forward slash files, all right, press enter. It just gives you the uh, recent files you worked on uh, within Microsoft Teams. So it's a nice, uh, a nice way for you to uh, kind of uh, access information. Uh, if you are into typing things instead of maybe clicking with the mouse, all right? Uh, so that's option number one. Uh, I guess first command I wanted to show you. So let me show you some other commands. Uh, if you type in, by the way, uh, if you type in forward slash help, uh, it actually gives you different links to different tutorials on Microsoft Teams. So just another uh, option, another command for you to use. So if you type in again forward slash help, it gives you all the different, you know, kind of tutorials and everything on how to run a meeting, how to, uh, um, you know, how to uh, browse for information, you know, plan a meeting, schedule a meeting, stuff like that. All right, so definitely check it out. Uh, another, uh, you know, command I wanted to show you is called What's New, right here. All right, and essentially, uh, as uh, my, you know, Microsoft updates Microsoft Teams all the time, right? They constantly come up with. Uh, new functionality, just a nice way to uh, a nice way for you to to kind of see the recent updates. So if you notice, I just access this, um, you know, particular, you know, uh, information, and it just gives me uh, all the recent updates that have occurred. All right. Uh, what else? If you type in um, DND, all right. So if you type in DND, forward slash DND, what happens? It actually uh, changes your status to do not disturb. So maybe you need to, you know, do some important work, right? You don't want to be disturbed with all these different notifications and everything. If you notice to just change my status to do not disturb, all right? Um, so yeah, I suggest you, you check it out again. Um, if you click, click, you know, type in the forward slash, it will give you, um, it will give you uh, kind of all the available commands, a list of all the available commands. So feel free to check it out. Uh, but I think just another way Another way for you to to really take advantage of Microsoft Teams uh, and access some of the information, some of the commands that way. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you learned something new. Thank you very much and looking forward to see you on my YouTube channel as well as my blog, SharePointMaven.com. Have a good day. Bye-bye.